What's up, y'all? This is going to be a poorly lit review of a DeSantis Kerr's shotgun scabbard, leather shotgun scabbard that goes with the Mossberg shockwave. I have the version that's the shockwave nightstick wood furniture just because I like that classic look. Wood for grip, wood bird's head grip. Got a paracord lanyard so I don't lose it. <clears throat> but if you want a shockwave review, watch another video. This one's about the case. The case is pretty nice. It's got nice thick leather. It's pretty soft. Uh, I got the leather because I have the wood furniture. I didn't want the finish to rub off here, putting it in and out. Uh, it does make the finish rub off the tip of the barrel just a bit, putting it in, but it's not bad. Uh, the stitching's thick. I've had it for about six months now, and the stitching hasn't come. I mean, I, I carry it every day. It's basically a truck gun. Stitching hasn't come off at all. The uh, little shell holder here is elastic. These come out and go in really easily, and they don't slip out. Maybe over time this will wear out and it will, but over six months it hasn't. The handle here is usually how I ended up carrying it. It's, it's screwed in on both sides. So it's in screwed into a nice big th thick piece of leather. Uh, it's got a button down here. And if you flip it over, you can see that it has buttons on the other side. There's a button there and a button here for the strap. The strap I'll get to later, but that holds the shotgun in. But they're all buttoned on. And all these two buttons are, you know, pretty pretty strong buttons it's hard to get the things on and off so I'm not going to take this off because it's it's hard to get back on uh, but it's pretty ambidextrous you can take this off and put it on these two buttons and then take that off put it on the other side and take this butt off and put it on the other side or right or left handed. Uh, let's see what else. This is the worst part of it. These are pretty weak, and the strap is thin and weak. It does have a nice rubber piece on it, so if you have that facing your clothing, it doesn't really slip, slip around walking around with it strapped to your shoulder. Uh, and it's really not long enough, but I would like to see that thicker, but the buttons have held up. They've only popped up once getting held up in my truck, pulling it out. One of these popped off, but walking around with it on my shoulder, it hadn't. Uh, there's other versions, but like I said, I wanted the leather so it wouldn't wear off the finish to the wood it goes in fairly easily and I also like that this one covers the trigger and then this strap holds it in it's coming handy walking around up in my camp with it strapped to my shoulder
Yeah, that's how I usually carry it around like that. Toss it in the truck. Uh, but every once in a while, <clears throat> I'll uh, put it on my shoulder, which I'm doing now. There we go. Now to pop it off, the best thing to do is grab it from the bottom and lift it up a little bit where you can reach those. But otherwise, getting it in is harder. You got to take it off to do that. But that's it. Uh, I mean, really, it works out really well. And it pulling it in and out doesn't mess up the finish on the on the wood of the foregrip because the leather's pretty pretty soft. I'm sure if I did it a thousand times, it would, but. On one of the sides, but for now, after six months, it hadn't messed up at all. That's it, quick and easy. That's my review. I will see y'all in the next one.